Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about visual shaders and operators. So you remember back to elementary school, middle school, high school, when you were learning this thing called math and you may or may not have thought, I don't need that. Well, if you wanna make some cool things eventually, these are things you're gonna to wanna to understand. So even though it seems simple, we're gonna start with add. So we know one plus one is two. Now when you start dealing with vector operations, it's not always best to just think of it as RGB or XYZ coordinates. Sometimes it's better to just think of it as components. Component one, component two, component three. When you add two vectors together, you're just adding the first component with the other first component, adding the second component with the other second component, and so on and so on. And for the most part, this idea of components can spread across to all of these other operators. Now the next thing to talk about is order of operation. So addition doesn't really help us understand order of operation, but something like subtraction does. One minus zero is one, but if you flip this around, zero minus one is negative one. Now with multiply, it's similar to add, where the order of operation doesn't really matter. Two times five is 10, and five times two is also 10. But just like subtraction, division does care about the order of operation. Two divided by four is 0.5, and four divided by two is two. The next one we have is power. Power is you multiply A by itself B many times. So this is gonna be two times two times two, which comes out to be eight. And once again, order of operation is important here. With remainder, I like to think of it like a question. How many times does B go into A? And then whatever the amount that's left over that can't go into A is your result. So four can go into 15, three times for a total amount of 12. Take 12 away from 15 and you're left with three. So your result is gonna be three. Max and min are very similar. With max, it's looking for the higher number and with min, it's looking for the lower number. So once again, with max, whichever one is higher, that's gonna be the output. And with min, whichever one is lower is gonna be the output. Now when you use a vector for max and min, it's gonna choose the answer from each one of the components. So with max, it's looking for the highest number in each one of the components. And these last two, a tan two and step, they're not actually what I would consider operators. I just added them here because they were included in the dropdown. All right guys, this covers operators in Godot 3. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.